Danielle Lanyard with Village Green. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. It's a privilege and an honor to be in front of you. My name is Danielle Lanyard, and I'm the founder and CEO of Village Green, the needs exchange for the sharing economy. We're the place where entrepreneurs get their needs met through sharing. So why Village Green? Well, we all have needs. And let me tell you, entrepreneurs are everywhere, but access to resources isn't. Now, sharing, this concept of sharing we've been hearing all night, this is nothing new. Humans have been sharing since the dawn of time. I've been doing this sharing thing since I'm six years old, 1985. I crowdfunded a nonprofit community playground with my mother, age six. We raised $35,000 in spare change from our community in six months. And we crowdsourced everything from the recycled tires that we used to build the playground to the nails that we hammered into that playground, to all the pizzas that we ate that night in celebration of all coming together and building that community playground. Now back then there wasn't even a lexicon for crowdfunding or crowdsourcing or, or any of this. Back in 1985, it took a village. And in 2013, it still does. And that village has a name and it's called Collaborative Consumption. And it is here to stay and it is rocking every single industry sector with which it disrupts. So let's just say you want to share a bed, Airbnb. Let's just say you want to share your tools, my turn. Perhaps you've got some unbelievable skills that you want to offer on the informal learning platform. Go to Skillshare. You name it, you can find an online platform where you can share, barter, exchange, or trade any type of single commodity. And let me tell you, the market is responding big time. Car sharing revenues alone have reached $3.3 billion. And the most recent report from the Altimeter Group by Jeremiah Owang projects that this market is going to reach $110 billion strong and growing. And this is just the beginning. And yet, there's no one platform where entrepreneurs can share anything and get their needs met. So what do we do when uh, we need to find a 3D printer to make our next hydro brake? Or eco-friendly printer to print the business cards I'm going to hand out to you all tonight? Or let's just say you have a great idea and you want to bring it to market, but you don't know what to do. Where do you go? Where do you find a fledge or what have you? Or um, you need office space or you want to rent a desk in a co-working space like this. You're new to town. You don't know where to go. How do you get your resources met? And what happens if you have a great idea and you lack the finances and the resources to get it off the ground? What do you do? And what happens to social and environmental entrepreneurship if and when we lack these resources? And then more importantly, what happens to game-changing ideas when they lack the resources that they need to get up into the world and change it? Well, it's, it's tough out there. <laughs> Only 3% of all startups get funded. That's right, only 3%. So what happens to the other 97%? I don't know, but we're in this room and we all know we're doing something. In this circumstance, it's actually more challenging for women entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs of color, for startup founders in emerging markets with game-changing ideas who have nowhere near as many resources as the Silicon Alleys or the Silicon Valleys of the world. Because entrepreneurs are everywhere, but access to capital isn't. Now, we actually learned this firsthand because before Village Green, we did an offline version called Green Breakfast Club, doing the same sharing thing with entrepreneurs and innovators. We started in New York City, where I'm from, and over the course of the last two years, we've done 40 events per month in New York City, London, and Nairobi. We did offshoot events of Green Film Club and Green Cocktail Club, so we had some 40 events, three continents, uh, multiple industry sectors, but one commonality, which is when we brought people together for the purposes of sharing and helping each other, when we gave them a platform with which to help each other, they would do so. And collectively, we all thrived. So we learned from this experience. And what grew out of it, and what I've done for the last two months in Fledge, is build the platform to enable entrepreneurs to help each other. 
So let's talk about what it does. Users can go online, set up a profile, and post what your needs are and what you have to share. You'll develop a content stream by following relevant hashtags in your industry or your field. And then your stream will show any posting from the needs exchange that features that hashtag. hashtag. That's how you'll find users whose needs you can meet, and that's how you'll find users who have resources that could help you meet your needs. Now let's just say you want to do a, a, private, um, a private needs exchange within the larger platform. Okay, set a hashtag to private, put your list of attendees, insert it into the system, and then only that list of attendees will be able to see the postings that feature that hashtag. Now this will be a private group within the larger platform, but the platform will always remain open. And we will always have one mission, and it will be very simple, to help entrepreneurs get the resources they need to grow, succeed, and thrive. Because what we learned from two years of offline friends before we went digital is that entrepreneurs, they actually have a resource that they need more than anything else. And their greatest resource is each other. It's going to take a village, which means it's going to take you all. Village Green has one huge ask tonight that we're hoping that you will all fulfill, which is join our private beta, become part of our community, and help us revolutionize the sharing economy and the global entrepreneurial ecosystem together. Thank you.